Welcome to the shortwave channel. I've uh, had that question come um, today again, and it's a question I get very often, um, all the time. And it's about single sideband and what exactly does it add to a radio? And a lot of people don't really understand um, because one of the biggest problems with the um, all the words and all the terms that we use is that they sometimes uh, make you uh, think in a way that is not exactly what it means. And one of the biggest flaws in our language in North America is saying that we're listening to AM, FM radio, when in reality, we should be saying we're listening to medium wave or VHF. Because AM, FM is a mode of transmission. It's not a band of radio listening. So when you get to shortwave, it gets confusing for some because you're like, well, I have this AM button, but how do I, do I get to shortwave? Well, it's because shortwave broadcasters use AM mode. And as I said, AM is a mode of transmission amplitude modulation. So it, it you know confuses some people in there. But once you get a hang of, yeah, there's stations on shortwave that are in AM mode. These are international broadcasters. But you do get something else. And that comes in the form of like a, this radio here at the top. You're going to see it's going to go to lower sideband, upper sideband, and then back to AM mode on shortwave. Some are SSB only with a BFO knob. Uh, so sometimes they don't have separate a uh, upper lower sideband. Remember that if you have single sideband, you have upper sideband, lower sideband. Always, always. Uh, that also is a confusion for a lot of people that have a radio with a BFO, which means you're actually controlling the tone of the single sideband signal. Um, often they don't see upper or lower, so they, they think that I got a sideband radio and somebody actually once told me, I said, I think I have to buy a new radio because I have a single sideband radio, but I don't have an upper lower sideband radio. You have an upper lower sideband radio with a BFO also. It's just, it's a little trickier to tune around. Now, a radio that has single sideband, why, why should that be of importance that you can actually go into SSB or in upper and lower sideband on a radio. It actually turns out that it brings you um, some modes of um, some communications that you would not necessarily hear if it wasn't for single sideband. So you have AM mode and basic radios uh, that do not have, um, you know, lack the single sideband mode, which is an example, the XH data here, you'll be stuck pretty much in listening to international broadcasts, uh, which is fine. It might be the only thing you want to hear. There'll be a little bit of ham activity, a little bit of pirate activity, but overall, the majority of what you'll hear is international broadcast bands, maybe the CB bands here in North America or in AM mode mostly. But that's it. But the radios tune also frequency ranges that you might never hear anything because you don't have the correct modes. And that's where single sideband becomes important. In between the international broadcast bands, there's amateur radio bands, there's utility bands, there's all sorts of things. So single sideband will let you not only listen to international broadcasts, it'll let you listen to amateur radio operators. It's going to let you listen in on utility signals, which are you know aeronautical stations, uh, air traffic control over the Atlantic Ocean or Pacific Ocean or wherever you are. Um, over you know the oceans, there's air traffic control uh, of the planes over the oceans that communicate through shortwave. Uh, some marine signals, some digital modes that you can decode with software on a computer, for example, or a tablet or phone. Um, so um, a lot of pirate activities in single sideband, even some CB activity in single sideband. So it opens up a completely new world, you know, number stations, uh, all the, the spy number stations, for example. So it, it 
If you have single sideband and you're a little curious and want to try to tune around, you actually get 10 times more signals, 10 times more, 10 times more things to listen to than if you just stay with a standard you know, radio that doesn't have single sideband. Um, you'll enter, like I said, international broadcasts are going to be there, CB band, a little bit of other stuff like pirates sometimes, but overall, that's where you're going to be. On single sideband, well, you have 10 times more things to listen to, and it, it doesn't stop. There's mysterious signals of our kinds. There's all sorts of, you know, channel markers and marine stations and uh, so much, so much to monitor. Um, that if you even get serious into shortwave and you don't have a single sideband capable radio, well, you know what? That might be the next step up. Move from a radio that doesn't have it to a radio that has it, and you add a whole new dimension of what you can hear out there. So this is definitely something to check out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.